Hello and welcome along. This is the first of two videos for today's Fact Sheet Friday. This one focusing on Fact Sheets 10 and 11, which released a week ago. They feature a brand new skid steer from an existing brand with a fantastically useful bucket from a new brand, along with a returning tractor from Farming Simulator 17, new manure spreader and a fan favourite self-propelled mower last seen in Farming Simulator 13. First up, we have Fact Sheet 10A, which shines the spotlight on a new skid steer from New Holland and a bucket from new brand Paladin. The New Holland L218 is categorised as a skid steer loader and has a base price of 35,000. Its engine power is rated at 45 kilowatts or 61 horsepower. It has a fuel capacity of 75 litres and a maximum speed of 18 kilometres per hour or 11 miles per hour. Here it's using the Paladin High Dump Bucket, which is categorised as a skid steer bucket with a price of 4000 It can be filled with 23 different types of load, which is pretty much every solid load available in-game. Its capacity of 1,284 litres isn't listed here, but it was confirmed on the Farming Simulator Discord by Melody last Friday. I love this. It's a great to see a skid steer from another brand in the game beside JCB, even though JCB skid steers are yet to be confirmed, especially from a brand I'm a fan of. The addition of the high dump bucket is also fantastic, as it addresses an issue I had using the skid steer in FS17, loading muck as is being done in this image, uh, and it really pleases me to see both of these in the game. Fact Sheet 10B moves the focus to the tractor and spreader combination seen at the side of the previous image. Returning from Farming Simulator 17, the Valtra T series is one of my favourite base tractors from the game. With a base price of 175,000, it has a power engine rating of 154 to 184 kilowatts or 210 to 250 horsepower. It has a fuel capacity of 380 litres and a maximum speed of 50 kilometers per hour or 31 miles per hour it has reverse drive control and customizations include engine setup front loader attacher main color rim color wheel brand and wheel setup the last of these has a choice between standard wheel weights wide tires wide tires with wheel weights narrow tires rear twin wheels twin wheels and communal here it's paired with the Kuhn SLC141, a new manure spreader that has a price of 54,800. Its power requirement is 135 kilowatts or 180 horsepower and it has a working speed of 20 kilometers per hour or 12 miles per hour. Its working width is 10 meters or 32 foot and has a capacity of 15,400 liters of manure. Its wheel brand and setup can be customized, the latter of which has a choice between standard and wide tires. I really like the combination of these two pieces of machinery, and I look forward to the new and improved T-Series. The addition of a side spreader to the vanilla game is also welcome, and I am very much looking forward to trying it out. For the final fact sheet in this set, uh, the spotlight is on a piece of equipment which has been widely requested to return to game since its last appearance in Farming Simulator 13. Categorised as a self-propelled mower, the Crone Big M450 has a price of 380,000. Its engine power rating is 330 kilowatts or 449 horsepower. The fuel capacity is 780 litres. Its maximum speed is 40 kilometers per hour or 24 miles per hour, while its working speed is 25 kilometers per hour or 15 miles per hour. It has a working width of 9.9 .9 meters or 32 foot and has the working modes of widespread and swath drop left, right or center. The Big M's return to Farming Simulator is a popular choice and many fans of the game were very pleased to see its reveal in the Gamescom trailer. I for one cannot wait to give it a go in-game.
So that's it for this set of fact sheets. Let us know in the comments what you think and don't forget to keep your eyes peeled later today when we'll take a look at this week's collection of goodies. For now though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.